Oh my god, he's back and better than ever. Um, yeah, it's been a long time. Oh, that was classy. So, like always, we're keeping it informal. We are doing it. I have not been able to read a lot. This is my first year teaching, and it has been kicking me right in the rear. But, we finally finished that book that uh, I was talking about so long ago. I finished it a while ago. I just haven't gotten around to um, actually making this video. So today we are actually talking about The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. So the cool thing about this book, um, it's not really that cool actually, but it's a good story. The whole reason this was put together was because that Marina Keegan graduated Yale I don't want to say top of her class, but I'm not sure either way. She's an exceptional writer. Exceptional student. Looked like she was going to be one of the next big writers in our generation. And after reading this, I can absolutely say that that is a fact. She writes so beautifully. She's able to put together characters that it seems unreal that they're not real. Um... So the fact that she's able to understand humanity and how brutal it can be, um, she gets emotions of people that maybe they're inspired by real people, but it really feels like she knows what these people have felt. And it's just really, really special. But um, the whole reason this was put together was because she died tragically um, before she was able to publish any of her work, at least in a book. Um, she died and it was a horrible tragedy. Um, it's just absolutely awful that it had to happen at all. It didn't have to, but um, the fact that it did happen is awful. But I heavily encourage you to pick up this book just because not only does, is she an amazing writer and the contents of this book are so special, but I also think that it kind of keeps her memory alive, keeps her story alive, and it shows how limited our lives are and how, you know, even though she never got to see this published, I think that us reading it is important enough for for her and her family because at least we're able to appreciate um, her writing for what it was and in this is just it is chock full of it's a collection of um, essays and stories and it is so so worth uh, reading I read some of these to my class because we're doing um, in my creative writing class we are actually uh, doing a realistic fiction unit right now and they loved it they could they, after each story they'd be like wait is this non-fiction I was like no it's fiction it's just it's just really real it feels real that's the whole point of what we're doing um but I heavily heavily encourage you to pick up this uh a copy of this book it's really good and um Marini Keegan I wish that there was more of her stuff so I could keep reading it and it's a shame that there isn't and this book will absolutely make you cry there's no way it can't it just annihilated me over and over and over again so keep that in mind but I heavily encourage you to go read the opposite of loneliness see ya